Hello team, in this reporting quickie we'll be focusing on the report's aims. So today's quickie we'll look at why aims are super important along with we're looking at two examples of differing quality. Then finishing off with some further reading resources to help you write your aims subsection. So why are aims important? Well not just important, they're crucial. They help establish the report's direction, depth and scope. And they have a lot to do with a little really time to do it they shouldn't be long they shouldn't be too short they're about a paragraph or so long and it's really important that you get it right on top of that the aims must be well defined as they reappear throughout the report you'll see them pop up again and the methodology for example the discussion the conclusion so you have to get your aims right or else it can be detrimental to the quality throughout the rest of your work but the aims actually matter when it comes to what you see in them. The words and the language that you see kind of dictate what the overall report is going to take shape as. So you have to make sure that you, if it's a comparison between two types of uh, scanners that you say it's a comparison. If you're going to say evaluation, then I'd want to see an evaluation. If you're going to do some uh, designing, I'd want to see something design. You have to make sure that you're explicit and that you are really saying what it's actually going to be. You don't want to kind of mislead the reader, especially because we'll take what you say as the aim to be what you intended to do. And if you end up not doing what you intended to do in the aim, we'll think that you either um, messed up when it came to not being able to finish it on time or you weren't actually technically... Uh, knowledgeable enough to do as you set out to do um, the aim is a kind of the bible in that kind of sense that we'll take that word as gospel and what else is in the report has got to go along with that you can't have any inconsistencies you, you can't have any inconsistencies there unlike the introduction the aims are much more explicit in the marking rubric hallelujah Criteria include precise definition, beneficial formatting, and realistic goals. So that's kind of much more to go on than context. So, here's a poor example. Despite not having much to say, there's actually quite a lot to talk about. So let's get into this. So starting with number one, the aims. There's a lack of ownership of the aims here. And what I mean by ownership is, like... The aims of what? What are the aims? Like, one way you can easily fix this is by saying, this report aims. So, it would rather read, it would read this report aims to find out the best vulnerability scanner, for example. However, that's not the only kind of mistake that's in this. There is a lack of scientific language in number two. Find, find isn't the word we use when it comes to our aims, because... It's, it's not given as the, the best kind of way. Maybe it's to evaluate. Maybe it's to discover. Maybe it's to um, analyse. Just look at um, other words rather than find because it's just too basic and it's got too much vagueness. There is, um, in the resources slide, you'll find a site which outlines some more of the more accepted scientific language we expect when it comes to um, academic writing. Similar to that, the word best also isn't scientific, nor is it critical enough. Make sure you don't use these words in your aims. Best, potentially, maybe the most effective, or maybe the most accurate, or um, something along those lines. You don't say best. Finally, web application vulnerability scanner. This suffers from a lack of detail. Um, are, are you going to be looking at all web app vulnerability scanners? Um, is it going to be on WordPress? Is it going to be on open source scanners? Make sure that you're granular enough in this definition that it kind of doesn't mean that you are promising the sun or promising the world. Overall, this wouldn't achieve a good mark due to the points that kind of mentioned above. This would, this would be quite low down. Now we have a decent example. There's much more going on here. But there's still quite a bit that, that could be used some work. Similar to the last point, the word various isn't specific enough. 
What do you mean by various? Is it again? Is it open source? Is it WordPress? You don't have to tell us how many. You just have to say that you're going to look at it, and somewhere else down the methodology, you kind of tell us what ones you're going to look at. Now, what this person has done brilliantly is that they've split up their aims to have bullet points. So they have one overall aim, which is this report aims to identify, compare, and evaluate various web application vulnerability scanners. Fantastic. And we can actually see in that there's, there's three, identify, compare, and evaluate. So this overall aim, well, we can break up very easily into three. So we've got identify, compare, and evaluate. And that's what they've done with the bullet points. So the first one says identify the various brilliant. And we've got compare. Right, the first second one, brilliant, and then we got evaluate or name. So they've not really done it the best with the third one, but they've definitely got the bullet points in there. And bullet points are basically cheat codes when it comes to aims. They break up the aims, um, it just looks a lot more easier and a much more easier to write. And when it comes to doing your discussion, you can go back to these specific bullet points and say you met that aim, you met that aim, you met that aim, and have a paragraph for each of them. And then you can then say overall, or the overall aim was to do this, and through these sub-aims, we've done it. Number three, we've mentioned that it's actually going to be looking at WordPress sites, but that has been a bit too late in, uh, in our, um, it's a bit too late in our aims to mention that. I mean, it's the second to last bullet point. Um, we want to make sure that it's further up there, so maybe various can get changed with WordPress sites. Might be great. The last point is similar to before it is not scientific enough. Name the best, evaluate and analyze to identify the most effective web application scanner. Maybe a great, uh, more scientific way and more um, effective way to write that um, last bullet point. Here are some resources to aid in writing your aims. Have a look at these instruction words. If you're struggling with that kind of scientific language we were talking about earlier, maybe the, the best or identify, discover, find, those kind of words. If you didn't know about them, maybe look at them. Again, I would recommend Phrase Bank excessively for this bit. It's very good for getting that big kind of overall aim as well as how you could maybe start structuring your, your sub-aims. So, to summarise, this episode has looked at your report's aims. From the exemplars, we've seen some common mistakes as well as some good practice, which you can learn from. And with a lot of further reading, you can improve your aims to secure a good mark. And with that, this episode is over, and I hope you enjoyed it, and good luck.